Uh, straight away, let me, let's get started uh, right now. Um, let me request uh, someone here, Tendo. Tendo Ray. Is Tendo Ray in there? Tendo, Ryan. Tendo, Ryan. Oh, it disappeared, did it? Can I give up? Hey. Tendo, okay, okay. Let me pick on someone else. Ruban Kenny, David. Ruban Kenny, David. Right. Olum. Olum, David, Ruban Kenny, are you there? Okay, Orum. Orum has also refused to speak to us. Uh, Ashaba, Irene. Their voices, uh, there are certain people I want to hear from. Ashaba, Irene. Irene Ashaba. Yes, please. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? Could you give us an opening prayer as we get started? Humble yourselves and we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for the night we had. And as we are going to start this lesson, bless us and let us get what the teacher is going to teach us. In, the, in Jesus' name, I've been able to pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Irene. Ashaba. Um, so we're good to go. Uh, we are in our senior theory class. Sorry, senior two. I don't know why senior three is always on my mind, but senior two, not senior three. Okay, so we're here. Okay, so um, can we stop the communication and then we connect here so we can get what we have or what we have for you. So, uh, dear members, we in our class we have been uh, we were looking at proportions, ratios, and proportions, which we concluded in our last lesson uh, by looking at uh, the direct proportion and then the inverse proportion. That's the last day part that we looked at. Those of you who are joining us, we shall check through. Uh, the Google Classroom, we shall get all the notes over whatever we've been uh, working through. So today, I would like us to handle something else that is going to take us a very short period of time. I think um, it's a, a very short topic uh, as far as our class is concerned. Now, usually what you should know with mathematics, we keep on building one concepts at every level that we go to. Now, the ratios that we looked at previously, when you move to, uh, I think th those are the ones that we're supposed to be having. But when you move to a certain level, uh, there are other things that will be added on. But at our level, as senior to class, that is what we're supposed to be having. Now, the same thing to this uh, part that we are going to look at statistics. Now, statistics is a very, very wide topic, extremely wide. 
And actually, there is even a course in need statistics. But uh, we keep building on the knowledge right from, I think even in primary, we looked at some statistics. In senior one, you are looking at some statistics. Now, here in senior two, we are also going to uh, look, on, look at uh, the statistics as well. But in this lesson or in this uh, period of time, we are going to focus on majorly uh, three concepts. We are going to look at uh, what we call the mean, which also focus on the mode and also focus on the median. These are the three things we are going to focus on at this level. Now, when we go to senior three and four, we shall also add on from here. So when we are looking at these things, please just not leave this knowledge behind. We keep building on, on and on so that we, uh, we connect the concepts and we get the best out of them. Now, um, when we talk about statistics, in most cases, statistics, this topic helps us to learn how to add meaning to what? To numbers, okay? It helps us to learn how we can add meaning to numbers. Now, when you have numbers like uh, maybe 10, we have 20, we have 30, uh, maybe you have five, we have seven, we have eight, and so on and so on. Now, when you just have these numbers there like that, and you haven't said anything about it, about them, you haven't manipulated them, these ones do not have any meaning. Okay. Until you can tell maybe someone, you can tell someone, oh, what I have written down are maybe ages of people, people's age. Okay. Or I have written down the, the, the height of people. Maybe it can be people's heights. Okay. So what are we doing? We're trying to attach meaning. Okay. We try to attach meaning to these numbers that we are having. Now, that is statistics now. That every number you're going to write down, there must be an attachment onto it. Now, that attachment, at the end of it all, it is going to help us carry on a certain manipulation and we shall uh, learn something out of them. So, that is what statistics is about. Adding meaning to a given set of numbers or a given uh, different type of numbers. That is what we do when we are looking at the statistics, okay? So we are saying that at the end of it all, we are going to give meaning to numbers, okay? But giving meaning to these numbers here, for this lesson, we shall, for this period of time that we are going to look at them, we shall see how do we give a meaning to a number and we say, this is a mean or this is a mod, or this is a median, okay? Out of a given set of numbers that you are given. So in so doing, you can be able, um, in so doing, we can be able to add certain concepts onto numbers. So that's what we look, that's what we are going to look at. So when someone asks you, what do you mean by statistics? Statistics, basically, it is a way that we try to organize numbers and we give them a meaning. Okay. Now, let me straight away move to uh, the mean. Okay. Let me straight away look at the mean. I know some of the things we've looked at them, but uh, we are trying to recap. We are trying to make sure we add onto the knowledge that you already have, okay? Now, when you have numbers like this, for example, okay? When we do have, we, 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 when we maybe here we say that he, we have five students and they go to a shop and they are told to pick any number of sweets from the shop. Okay, everyone goes there, picks this one, picks this, picks this. Then at the end of it all, once everyone has picked the sweets, we now take notes. Who has taken how many sweets? So we say the first student took only two 
another student took only three, another one took five, another one took eight. I think this is the highest student number four. I don't know who would be student number four in our class here. The one who took eight sweets. And also student five took what? Took two sweets. So you take note of this, okay? Now, what do we mean when we talk about the mean? Okay, now the mean also is the same as average. Okay, these are the same, we always use them interchangeably. We can talk about the mean, you can, or you can say it is what? The average, okay? Now, when you get these suites here that people have taken, that the ones that we are seeing here, okay? If everyone has taken, a different number of suites. This one has taken five, this one has taken this, and so on. Now, the mean, hell, if they tell you, redistribute those suites so that everyone gets an equal number, okay? If you redistribute them and you want to make sure that everyone gets an equal number out of the given set of numbers that you have, now that is what you call the mean. So if everyone has taken different numbers here and we say, uh -uh, every, since, since the suites are very few, we want to balance up so that everyone gets an equal share. So that process of organizing items and giving equal shares to those items, we call that the mean, okay? We call that the mean or the average, okay? or the average, you are giving equal shares of items. If mommy gives you, maybe gives you 20, okay? If mommy gives you possibly 20, uh, to, to 20 cakes, okay? Mommy gives you 20 cakes and you're five at home. And mommy says, please go and distribute these 20 cakes equally, it means everyone must get the same, same number. Now, that is what we call the mean. That's how we are defining the mean. That when you go and distribute items equally, we now generate what we call the mean, okay? So this is what we have. So if at all, if right now we have, every student is having a certain number here, and they tell you, redistribute these suites here so that everyone is having an equal number, okay? So we are saying that is what we call the mean. Now, we move on. So we said the mean, as we said, it's the same as the average. Now, for you to get the mean or the average, it is got by a formula. This formula, I think you looked at it way back in primary, I guess. We say it is the sum of all items divided by the total number of items, okay? The sum of all items divided by the total number of items. So here, if you are to get the mean, the sum of all the items here, okay? Sum of all items, this will be equal to two plus three plus five plus eight plus two. This is now the sum, okay? So in this sum here, this is where you will get, I think it is a five, five plus five, 10, this is 20. So you will have these are 20 suites. But we are saying we are dividing by the number of items. Number of items is how many are there? It's like, how many people are you distributing those items? So how do you get the number of, you count each one. This is one item, two, three, four, five. So it's like this number of students, one student, two, three, four, five. So the number of items here will be five. So for you to get the mean, whereby you're going to find out how many every person will be able to get equally. So the number of items, okay, number of items, we've counted there what? There are five. So meaning our mean or average will be 
the sum of items, which is 20, divided by the number of items, which is five. The answer will be here, will be equal to four suites. Okay, four suites. Now, what does this mean? It means that when you get these 20 suites here and you give equally, okay, you distribute them equally among these people here, you will come to the same number, which is 20. When you total this one, it is 20, okay? So, and then when you say everyone, you're giving four, 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 four suites equally, meaning no one is going to take more, no one is going to take less. So we will also come up with what? With 20. So this is what we mean by the mean. So this one will give us that the explanation of getting what? The mean or the average, the understanding of the mean or the average. Okay. So that's the, the simplest way that we can understand what a mean is or what the average is. Equal redistribution of items so that everyone gets an equal number, okay? Now, I, and uh, as we move on, so this is the general, form, the general formula for us to get the mean or the average, okay? Now, there is a, at this level, we introduce in, at some point, we, I think in senior one, we introduce in what you call the frequency table. And this frequency table, uh, unless there's any question or someone having a question about the definition that I've explained about the mean, uh, you can put up your hand and speak to us. If you have any question about the mean that I've explained, okay. I think it's okay. So, uh, we are saying that at some point, we are still looking at the mean, dear members. So, we can also generate our mean from what you call a frequency table, okay? We can generate our mean from what you call a frequency table. Now, a frequency table is used to organize data, which is scattered. If you have scattered data, huh? Your information is scattered. You have 12, you have 30, you have one, and you've scattered it all through. The frequency table helps us to organize that data very well. Okay? So we are saying the frequency table helps you to helps you to know the number of students for each. Okay? For each. The number of times a number appears is called a frequency. Now, this is where it all comes from, where the frequency part comes from, okay? We are saying the number of times a number appears is called a frequency. Now, if, for example, we get max, if we, uh, maybe, uh, if different people get, if I, if I to get people's max here, I say maybe Isabella got 50, I say Agaba got 90, I say Angela got 60, I say uh, Anita got maybe 55, uh, maybe Anna got 90, and who else do I have here? Maybe Barbara got, got also 55, Brandon got, got 50, and so on. Now, when you organize this data here, when you organize this data, okay, and we scout how many times a given number appears in this space here is what we call the frequency. So for example, when they ask you, how many times does the 50 appear here? 50, 50 appears once and here twice. So the two becomes the frequency for what? For 50. So that's what we mean by a frequency. So a frequency is just, the, the way you see frequent eh? appearing several times, several times, several times. That's what we mean by that, okay? Now, so what we do when we're generating a frequency table, there are key items that must be there. One is the name of item, okay? It can be the name of item or the item or the number. It can be a number in this case, okay? Then we also have what you call a tally, okay? We also have a tally and we also have the frequency. 
Now, usually the frequency is represented by F. Okay, you can call it either capital or small f. Okay, usually that one explains, you say that is uh, the frequency. Okay, now we are saying here that let's take an example. We have some data here, we have our data here. Uh, ages of 15 students in our class here. Some of you your ages here already. Okay, if I go on and ask you your ages here. Now that age of yours, I'm going to list down here. Maybe Zabila says I'm 12, uh, Gala says I'm 13, uh, Mary says I'm 15 and so on and so on. So these are the ages that we have. Now the task that you have is to put them in what you call a frequency table. Okay, we put it in what you call a frequency table. Now, how do we generate our frequency table? Maybe let me, so your frequency table is going to be in such a way that you have something like this. Let's, let's generate it together. Maybe uh, we can possibly pick it up clearly. So you're going to draw lines in this form here, just a small table, okay? Just a small table. So, uh, here you're going to have, you have the edge, okay? Then we have the tally, then we have the what? The frequency. Now the tally usually helps us to see how many times does this one appear? How many times does the other one appear? And like that, okay? So we put our edges in any order from ascending to descending, start with the smallest to the lower, to the highest. Or you can start from the highest to the, uh, to the lowest, but don't scatter them. Don't start with the 14, then you go to 12, then you go to 15, uh -huh. try to organize them in that given order, okay? So when you look at our edges here, the lowest edge here that we are seeing here, okay, I'm seeing a hand somewhere here. Uh, hey, 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 I saw a hand. Okay, we're back here. So we are saying, please, if you have any point, you, you just raise up your hand and then I'll pick on you to, to, to say it out here. So we, we're saying that what you do, you organize your, your, your information in ascending or even descending order. Okay, it is very fine. Ascending or descending order, but do not scatter. Don't mix up your, don't mix up your work. So when you look at this, these edges that we have, the smallest edge that we have here is 12. Okay, so here I will come, I will come and feed in my 12 here as the edge. Then I have 13, I have 14, and I also have edge 15. I think 15 is the high, highest, okay? 15 is the highest edge in our class here for the one, the data that we are having. So for the tally, for the tally, if you're looking for 12, look at how many tallies, how many crosses are you going to do for edge 12? How many times is it appearing? This is once, this is two, this is three, Okay, so these are three times. So meaning this is 12, the frequency is it? three. So you will come to your table and then you, you cross it out. You draw these three what? The three uh, tallies. Then frequency, count how many tallies you've made and then you put your frequency beside that side. Okay, we move on to age 13. Okay, we go and we look at age 13. Age 13 has one, uh -huh, two, has three, four, and five. These are the ones that we have. So you also come and cross out here from your tally. So we have one, two, three, four, and then five, you cross, okay? 
So here we shall also put what? We shall put the five. Okay. Then we're going to age, age 14. Age 14. So when we reach age 14, we do the same thing. Age 14, this is one, this is two, three, uh -huh. age 14, there are three. So you do the same thing. Cross out three times, one, two, three. You also put the three, the other side. And lastly, age 15. Age 15, we have, uh, let's donate it in a different uh, color. So age 15, we have one, two, three, four, okay? So we come to our age 15, there are four. We also do the same thing, one, two, three, and four. And then we put our four right here. Now, what are we doing? We are generating a frequency table. Okay, and this frequency table is going to help us calculate the mean as well. And we are going to see how we can generate that. Okay, anyone with a question as far as the tallying is concerned? Anyone with a question as far as tallying is concerned? As far as the tallying is concerned? Mm -hmm. Any question as far as tallying is concerned? Okay. All right. So uh, that is uh, what we do have when we are carrying on our tallying. Okay, when we are carrying on our tallying, that is literally what we are uh, supposed to do. Okay, that's what we are we, we are supposed to do. So anytime you, you you are told to carry on a tally, then we are going to carry on uh, that in that given form. Okay, so after doing that, that is what you'll be able to come up with. Now, what is that? What after this, this? This is easier. This is easier for all of us. You can easily come up with this uh, table. Then you put the corresponding uh, figures there. Okay. Now, uh, after that, we can use the same formula to get the mean. Okay. Like I told you, the mean is the what? The total number of items out of the what? Out of the sorry, then sum of all items out of the total number of what? The total number of items. Now, when we talk about the sum of items, please total up everything that you've been given. Don't total up uh, the error that some people make, they total up without repetition. Please, if there is any repetition, keep adding it, keep adding it, don't leave it out. Okay? Keep adding it, don't leave it out, okay? Add it there. So when you do this from the formula that you've been given, we, we did earlier on, you can easily get your mean in that event form. It's, it's, it's that way. Now, I want to give you another, uh, another option. Now you see that this one is too much work, eh? I don't know if you realize this that you're going to add 12 plus 12 plus 13 plus, you know, it is a lot of work that you're going to do. Imagine these are 15 figures. Now, how about when you have 100? How about when you have 200 of them? Are we going to do the same thing? No, okay? So what do we do when we want to use a shorter method than this one here, but we, but we want to use our frequency table, okay? want to use our frequency table to come up with a simpler method. So what you do, we introduce in what we call the FX. Uh -huh. We introduce in what you call the FX. 
This one, now, where is the X coming in from? The X is always taken as this uh, edge. This edge is like our X. Okay, the numbers here, sorry, let me write it here. The numbers here are our, our X. This is our X, okay? So what you do, you introducing what you call the FX, okay? Introducing your what? Your FX. FX means that you're going to multiply the frequency times the corresponding edge. The frequency times the corresponding edge. So here you will be having 12 times, okay, here you'll be having 12 times the three, then you get your answer there. Then here you'll be having your 13 times the five, then you pick on your answer there. Then here you'll be having your 14 times the three, and you get your answer there. And lastly, you'll be getting your 15 times the four, and you'll get your result there. Someone who is uh, running a calculator there to give us some results from your calculator here of FX by show of hands. By show of hands, someone who has uh, used, okay, Mark Alena. 12 times three. Uh -huh. Equal 36. 36. Uh -huh. Then 13 times 5. 13 times 5 is 65. 65. Okay. 14 times 3. It's 42. 42. Please confirm these results. 115 times 4. 60. Is it 60? Okay. Thank you. Please, uh, members, you can confirm these ones. Eh? Confirm the, 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 the confirm these uh, answers. Confirm, confirm these answers. In case we made a mistake, you can uh, you can correct us. Eh? You can correct us in case we make a mistake. So this is what you're having. Okay. Now, finally, what you do, you now get the total frequency. Get this total frequency. The total frequency, we use this summation sign, sum of F. It means that we are summing up, we use this, uh, this sigma notation. Eh? This sigma notation indicates that it's a sum. So sum F will be, you give an answer there. And you also get the summation of Fx, sum of Fx also. You total up all these ones and you give an answer here, total up all these ones and also give us an answer there. Okay, someone to give us the sum of uh, F. Someone to give us the sum of F. Rangel, is it Rangel? Yes, Rangel? Okay, Ringer is not there. Ashley, is it Ash? Ashley Atino. Yes, yes, I'm What's there. What's the sum of f? The sum of f is fifteen. Is fifteen? Uh huh. Then sum of f x thirty six plus sixty four plus this two hundred three. Two hundred and three. Thank you. Okay. So finally, remember our our option of what our our getting the getting the, the the mean. So the mean here, the mean will be the sum of f x out of the sum of f. Now this is the one that we are adapting to. From if you have your tally table, okay, we shall be using the sum of fx, okay, out of the sum of f. 
So we already got our sum of fx, which is 203, out of the sum of f, which will be 15. Okay. And here, your mean, your mean will be equal to, I, I think we, we even got it this other side, it will be equal to 13.5. This you can confirm it, 13.53. Eh? Now, what does this 13.53 years mean? It means that these 15 people, these 15 students, once you distribute them equally, you give them equal ages. Everyone takes on 13 years. Everyone can be 13 years based on the information that we do have. Okay, so based on this information that we have, it means that everyone, these 15 students here, we can give them a normal age. Everyone has an equal age. If everyone is supposed to have an equal age, it will be 13.53. So that will be the normal age for all, in case you give them. Uh, in case you distribute that age among us, yeah. based on the information that you have, okay? So when they tell you the mean, the average, the average, it means distribute this equally so that everyone gets the same, same pay, okay? That's what we mean. Then, um, so, uh, this is what we, we, we do have, so we shall end up coming up with the, the same result, okay? We shall come up with the same, same result as that, okay? Maybe let's get um, another example from us. We are going to generate some information from ourselves here, as we are here. Huh? The way, as we are here. Uh, Nina Trisha says, I did not get, uh, okay, Michael and Lee Layton, there is a question. Teacher, mm. Teacher, there's why you say that, I didn't understand it, that on, on every 13 children, when they get the same age, I didn't understand that explanation. Uh, that we say this means that, huh? When you yes. get these 15 students here, the ones that you've collected the data from, okay? Remember yes. how their, their total age was 203 when you total all their ages. But when you distribute, every, you want everyone to have an equal age, it means you're going to give them 13.53. As the equal age, all these 15 students will take on that age. That's what the, that's, that's the meaning of the mean. Eh? Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Eh, that everyone takes an equal share. End of it all. Okay. Um, we've got that. Then uh, Nina, Nina was asking something. I need you to talk to us. Nina. <laughs> Nina, please animate and talk to us. I want to help you. Oh, oh, Nina is off. Anyway, any other person with a question or something? Aha. Uh -huh. Now, uh, Isabella has given us uh, some, more some example here. I think we can use this. Eh? Let's look at Isabella's, Isabella's example. Uh -huh. So Isabella's example says, 
The data below shows the number of scores each student got in an exam. Okay. What each student got in any exam. So we have the marks as we have 56, we have 67, we also have 56, we have 70. Um, Please let's, let's look at this. We have 70, we have 80, we have another 80, another 80, we have 56, 56, uh, we have 67, we also have another 67, 90, and then 80. Okay? And we've been told to find the mean using the frequency table. Okay? So here in our solution, what we are going to do is, first of all, we come up with our table. So we start drawing our table, okay? Start drawing your table. We are working out this together. So if you're having the, your book nearer, let's also work it out together. So we draw our table here. We draw our table. Okay, I have this. My lines may, be not, may not be so straight, but yours should be more straight. Eh? Oh. So this is what we have. And the question is specific that we are supposed to use the frequency table. It means the other formula is not going to work directly without coming up with this table here. Okay. So here we have our number. We have the tally. Okay have our tally, then from the tally, we also have the frequency, okay? Then we shall have our FX, the other side. So we generate, so this will be the max. What should be the max? We can, that is our X, this is our tally, okay? And this is our frequency. And this will be our fx. Okay, this will be our fx. So we start allocating our max now. When you look at the data that we have, uh -huh, is job okay? Okay. Look at the max that we have. Which one is the lowest mark? Which one is the lowest mark? When you look at the results that we have there, let's identify our lowest mark. Uh huh. Look at the marks we have on our screen, which is our lowest mark. So we have, first of all, you organize your data in ascending or descending order. Here we're using ascending order. Uh huh. Yes, Vani. Vanessa. 56. Uh huh. So we start 56. Uh huh. The next one is 57. 57, uh -huh. next. 67. 67, uh -huh. next. 70. 70, good. 80. 80. Then 90. And 90, is the last one? Is it the last yeah. one? Good. Thank you, yeah. Vanessa. So this is what the first, this is what we need to first keep doing. So you organize your data in that order without any repetition. Please don't repeat. Okay. Now let's start also tallying. How many times does six yeah, does fifty six appear? Uh huh. How many times does the fifty six appear? Please put up your hand and speak to us. Don't don't type. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, Leighton, Mike, okay. Let me use Linda. Linda, pretty something. Um, teacher, 56 appears four times. Four times. So we cross out. Yes. Four times. Uh -huh. Then 57. Uh, let me see. 57. 57 appears once. It appears once. Okay. 
Good. Uh -huh. Another person to tell us, uh, Mark Evans. Mark Evans. Mark Evans, how many times does 67 appear? 67. 67 appears mm. twice. Appears twice, so you draw your tally there. How about 70? 70 appears once. Appears once. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, another person. Um, Ashawa. Okay. Okay. Ashawa. Shina Sherina. Eighty appears four times. Appears four times. Then ninety. Once. Ninety appears once. Okay. Uh-huh. There is another hand. Yes, uh, Michael. You have something? Teacher, 57 is not there. Hey, we don't have 57. Yes, yeah. there is 56. Hey, there, no. is <laughs> there is no 57 there. 57 is not there. Okay. Good. I think we can re we can re we can remove it from there. Let's 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 yes. remove our 50, 57. We say it's not there. So uh someone gave us it there and it is not supposed to be there. Okay, good. Um next, so the next thing we do is to find our frequency. Uh, our next thing is to find our frequency. Yes, um Alinda. Alinda? Evelyn, Alinda? Yes, so I was saying right. that 80 appears four times. Yeah, eight is four times. One, yes. two, three, four. Good. 80 appears four times. Hey, people are observant. Very good. 80 appears four times. Uh -huh. Also, give us the frequency now. Evelyn? Yes, sir. 57 frequency. 57. Pardon? Oh, we, 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 we lost. Yes, Rebecca Winnie. Rebecca and Winnie. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. What does, what does FX mean? Fx means it is the frequency times the mark. Got it? Okay. She, she. All right. Um, let's continue. Um, Anna. Anna, give us the frequency. Four. Four. Fifty-six is four. It's four. Uh huh. Then. 67. Hey, you're giving us only one. I wanted you to give us all of them. Okay. Um, Farida, Nafka, Farida. Farida? Sixty-seven appears. 67 appears two times. Two times, 70. How about 70? One. How ah, about 80? 70 appears once. Then 80. 80 appears four times. Four, then 90. 90 appears once. Appears once. Okay, thank you. So uh, this is how we are generating our frequency, okay? Now, finally, the last thing that you're going to do is now to multiply the function, the frequency times the mark, which is X. So this will be frequency, which is four times 56. Then this one will also be two times 67. This one will be one, times 70. Then this one will be four times the 80. 
And then the last one will be one times the 90, okay? Now, don't forget, uh, uh, some people may not have seen this, but these lines must also be there, okay? You must draw your lines there. Just that I may not have, uh, I'd not put them there, but make sure you put those divisions, huh? Uh, to, so that you separate your work. Okay. These divisions that help you separate your work. Okay. So finally, uh -huh, someone who has calculated all this to give us a final answer here. Who is giving us a final answer? Who is giving us a final answer? Um, Dorothy. The Nabukera. Hey, sorry. Oh, Michael. 224. For the first one, eh? Yes. Okay, it is 224. Uh-huh. Then the second. 134. 134. 134. Okay. Next. 70. 70, next. 320, 320. 320, next. 90, 90. Is 90, good. So from there, we said that finally what you do, you get your summation of F, then you also get your summation of F, X, okay? You total up these values. This is 200, eh? not a, let me, let me write this one clear. People might see it as a, uh, okay. Uh, this is 225, eh? Two, two, four, okay? So the other thing we get is the totals. Eh? We get our totals here the, for the frequency and also for the function, for the FX. Uh -huh. So someone to give us a no Eileen. We're not spoken today. What is F, summation of F? Which I made a mistake on 67. 67 appears twice. It appears thrice, not twice. Uh, three times, eh? Yes, so uh, the answer let's, is... Let's check here. We have 67 once, 67 twice, 67 three times. Good. Uh, this correct this. Good, 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 good. So this one is three times, eh? This is okay. time three. So meaning we need to adjust our answers there. Okay, so this is three, three, three. So the total here is? 201. 201, eh? Yes. Okay, so have you got the summation F? Uh, not yet. Oh, not yet. Someone who has got the sum? Um, Jojo. Jojo? The sum of F is 12. 12, 13. Eh? 13. No. Plus 13. this is 7, 8, 9, 13. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Then this one? Yes. You've not yet got. Makalena, have you got the one for F? X? Uh, let me check in the chat here. Uh, some people have got nine, 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 two. Do we have nine, nine, two? Estella. Estella? What's nine your song? Nine. Pardon? Nine. 905. 905. Uh, can, we, can we confirm? Uh, Trevor, have you got the same thing, Trevor? 
No, teacher, me, I got, I got 748. 748? Yes. Hey, 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 okay. Uh, who else, who else, who else, who else, who else? Vanny, what did you get? Vanessa? I got 905. 905. Uh-huh, Trevor, yes. what did you, uh, Trevor has given us the answer. Six eight one. Are you sure? All right. Now, um, ca ca can we confirm our answers? Uh, people's calculators. Let's get to our calculators here now. Uh, maybe we can uh, get it clearly. Let's get to our calculators. I also want to confirm here. Let me also confirm with my calculator here. Seems we are getting different results. Uh -huh. So we have two, two, four. Sorry. We have two. Two four plus two zero one plus seventy plus three twenty plus ninety. And my final answer is nine zero two. Okay, so our final answer here is nine zero what? Nine zero two. Nine zero two. So finally, finally, we now get our mean as summation of fx out of summation of f. Okay, so this will be the summation of fx is nine zero three. Sorry, nine zero five out of the summation of f, which is what? Which is 13. So finally, you'll get your mean as, uh -huh. what was the mean? What was the mean? Kaili says 69.6, 69.62. Do we all have the same thing? Please just confirm Kaili's answer. Let's confirm Kaili's answer. Uh -huh. I think it's ranging around the same area. 69 point. Sixty-nine point. Hey, people, some people are rounding off. Eh? Okay, so it's 69 point, 69. Others are putting 69.615. So when you round off, you'll come to this, okay? So this will be your mean that you have to get. But remember, we have used our frequency table to come up with that given what? With that given mean. So dear members, when you to calculate the mean and you're supposed to use the frequency table, the frequency table makes it easier, especially when you have large amounts of data, okay? You can easily use your frequency table and then you come up with your results easily, okay? All right, um, can I answer some questions before we close? Uh, answer some questions before I close. Mark Evans. Hey, Mark Evans is gone, Jojo. Jojo, your hand is up. Okay, Jojo, your hand is up. Please say something. Okay, Ashaba Irene. Yes, Ashaba. Is it a must that when we round off, we, we stay with 
with two place values? No, it is not a must. And then why didn't we get 69.6? That's why we are saying it's not a must. <laughs> so we, we made this one, and for you also had 69.6. So even as we are correct here, and this first one is also correct, because they have not told us to round off. So if they have not told us to round off, so you can use two, three, or one. It's okay. Thank you. But if you're told to round off, make sure you round off. Okay, so dear members, I uh, want to come to a close to this class. Um, so can we also use the method of sum of items out of? Yes, you can, but it's a longer method, okay? For, imagine you're using that method on this number here, okay? Meaning you're going to add this one, add all of them, then out of, you know, it's going to be a bit so lengthy. So we are saying it is a method, good, but when you use the frequency table, it becomes quite shorter for us to work out, okay? Becomes shorter for us to work out. Now you're going to realize this one is it that sometimes you're given data as large as 30, 50, and they tell you to find the mean, okay? So in such a case, you cannot keep on adding one figure at a time, okay? All you have to do is to use that given method. Okay, uh, thank you so much. I'm going to upload this in our Google Classroom. These are the notes for today, and we shall be able to access them and the download. Okay? We shall be able to download them and then we access them as well. All right, let me wish you a good week and a, a happy weekend as we continue. Uh, let's meet in our next lesson. We shall look at the mode and then the median. Uh, then we shall close at that. Then when you're given a general question, you can calculate the mode the median at the same time using after from the table that you have generated. So we shall look at that as well. So I wish you well and have a nice weekend. Okay. Who is, Jojo's hand is always up, but doesn't want to say anything. I don't know why. Jojo. Are you testing the machines? Oh. Huh? Is JJ testing machines? Maybe for one more time. Let me give you an opportunity to close. Oh, still, still she, he or she can. Okay, let me wish you well, and uh, we meet in our next class. Have a nice weekend.